Hello, it's Jason Payne for JDP Realty Group, a coal banker, Dan Harper Realtor. Well, I have an out-of-state client looking to build a luxury home in the beautiful Texas Hill Country, and I think this community behind me, Cordillera Ranch, might be a perfect fit. But you don't always want to go by what your realtor says. Sometimes you need a little more information, so hey, let's go for a ride, a realtor ride. All right, we are on the bike and we are headed in to the beautiful community of Cordillera Ranch. I do like this community, especially if you're uh, want to build a little bit bigger house and a little more luxury. This does have a guarded gate, and I've already got clearance for the gate guard, so you don't have to film me. You don't have to watch me do all that. But uh, let's see if he recognizes me and waves me on through. Okay, cool. All right. Like I said, the one of the things I like about this community is the privacy, the views, the location to everywhere. And it is a little on the windy side today, so I'm hoping the sound comes out okay. Uh, they do have like communal post office box. I don't know what this guy's doing. But, uh,. The location of this community is really nice. You're about uh, 10 minutes away, or no, about five miles away from Blanco Road. That takes you up to the visitor center and it's gorgeous. Um, five miles away from Blanco Road and probably about 10 miles away, or might be about eight miles away from the beautiful Texas Hill Country Town of Bernie. And if you're wanting to be cool, closer to shopping, just look at those views. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the beautiful views out here. Um, like I said, it's nice. Let me see if I can let these guys pass by. Blocking up traffic, but I'm also not trying to go so fast that you guys can't see what's going on out here. But wow. This is just, I can just imagine driving home and seeing this as I come to the gate every day. Try to turn my nav down a little bit. But um, they do make a really big effort in this community to keep it looking natural. They have like a 50 foot setback for what you can do on the front of the property. They don't want your property being all manicured on at least the first 50 feet of it. So as we drive through this community, you are gonna see like the tall grasses and on the first 50 feet of people's property. I know I've done my motorcycle tour of Vintage Oaks and all the properties are really close up and you can really see everybody's properties. You're not going to see as much as everybody's properties in this community and i will kind of stop and slow down just so you can see the caliber of houses that are being built in this community all right i'm also trying to read the signs i'm not this is such a big community it is kind of easy for me to get turned around I've, been out here a couple times but by no means if I memorize where everything is so I do have my nav going it keeps telling me to turn around for some reason but they have beautiful parks that's not an easy angle to turn my neck to but they have a big soccer field and a nice little pond back that away at least if I can let this guy behind me go by Trying to be polite and courteous to folks but yeah there's a beautiful house set up on top of that hillside and you can see a lot of these uh very gated private homes where they've really kind of gone nuts with their entryway and ain't nothing wrong with that oh uh if you have someone want, worried about this being too far out in the head, Texas Hill Country, 
uh, look on the map, you do have 3351. It's about a mile down the road to the east. And why is this? Oh, ambulance passing me. I say, I don't saw some flashing lights. I'm like, I know I'm not speeding. I'm going too slow. But look at these views out here. Just beautiful. So I hope everybody's okay. It's no fun having an ambulance be coming out. Okay. We're going to make our first little stop here at the clubhouse. Now, I'm not going to do an in-depth clubhouse video on this round because this is a driving tour of the community. I will come back out hopefully in uh, a week or two to uh, actually sit down with the clubhouse folks and let them walk you through all the stuff because I know they've got like a gun club, a drop dead gorgeous golf club, golf course, get my words out already, um, horse ridings, events and stuff. And uh, yeah, there's just so much going on out of this community. And I have talked to somebody who does live out here and they said that there is a uh, a pretty good social networking group going like to their Facebook groups and different clubs and stuff so people do get to know each other all right so there's another beautiful house love the Spanish tile rooftop and another beautiful house now I have the GoPro mounted on the front of my helmet so what trying to film with my, ride my motorcycle with my head turned and that's not really the safest practice and I hope that wasn't where the clubhouse is but I think it's up here a little bit further. Yeah my nav says it's still further up here but this is a large community it can literally take you 15 minutes to drive from one side of the community through these roads to the other side. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a big one. But, uh, yeah, if you're looking to build a luxury home in the Texas Hill Country, this is not a bad spot to be at. And uh, this is going to be a little more of an upscale community than Vintage Oaks. And I love Vintage Oaks for myself. Uh, but the best way to describe it. When you're dealing with luxury homes, a car analogy has been the best one that I've seen where you're trying to compare a Lexus to say a Rolls Royce. Both of them are gonna be great cars, but uh, this is more of a Rolls Royce community than and Vintage Oaks, which I adore. It's gonna be a little bit more of a Lexus community with some Rolls Royce houses in it. But most of the houses in, in this community are going to be around the 1.2 million and up. I've done some lot tours and I'm showing them to my client right now. So once he decides if he wants to pull a trigger on one of those lots, then I'll make that lot tour video public. It was four lots that are on the market as of right now. But some of them are going to be a little bit larger lots when i'm say larger i mean like the two and a half almost three acres okay here comes the clubhouse and uh yeah some of them are going to be over like three hundred thousand for a two and a half acre lot which grand scheme of things isn't too bad because as i'm seeing in other communities you're looking at like 185k to 220 for a one acre lot or just over one acre so it's crazy how much our prices have gone up this year. Uh, and if I haven't mentioned already, I am filming this as of late October 2021. Some more beautiful homes. So yeah, for the last year, probably the last 14, 15 months, we've had the world moving to Texas and that's definitely created a scarcity issue as in not too many uh, 
lots available to build a luxury home on. And if you're looking on the production side, not too many of those are available either. Ooh, there's fancy. Um, and a lot of the communities that I've sold quite a few houses in, they're closing out or real close to closing out. So I can definitely let you guys know that in the next six months, well, I think we're going to have uh, even more of a housing scarcity issue in the north part of the San Antonio area. All right, now we're coming into the clubhouse district. You see big tennis courts right up there. And make sure I don't crash. Uh, there's the golf course. That is a beautiful golf course. Stop sign at a roundabout. That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's go see what's up here. All right, I know there's a pool. I'm gonna wander up there and just do a video of that real quick, and then we'll continue our motorcycle ride through this community. All right, looks like it's probably a good idea to turn around up here. Well, that might be a turnaround spot. Is back that way. All right, let's go ahead and turn around. I want to do a quick sneak peek at the pool. But wow, look at that house up top there. Love the rock fence. Lots of beautiful oak trees out here. You are going to see have lots of deer. Um, and uh, if anything like the rest of the communities in Texas, you are going to see some wild turkeys. Every the main one. wildlife you're going to see is deer. Maybe a fox or two. Another shot of the golf course. It is a gorgeous day here. I think we're like at 65, 70 degrees outside. Clear sky. I'm like, I'm glad to see the weather finally breaking this first part of... Uh, we usually start getting this temperature beginning of October, but first part of October was uh, a little warmer than I liked. It was like 85 degrees, and that's no no fun. Oops. All right, let me get up here, see if I can get to a spot where I can see this golf uh, pool. Now, I gotta warn you, the HOA fees in this community are about $2,000 a year, but that does not cover the club. I'm still waiting for a reply back to find out what the actual club dues are, so you would have access to all this, but talking to an owner that does live out here, he's like, mm, club fees are a little pricey. When you have valet parking at the golf course, uh, it might be a little pricey on the club dudes. All right, that's the swimming pool back there. Let me just walk up and kind of showcase that real quick. Get my bike in neutral. There we go. All right, we're just going to do a quick walk up. Yeah, definitely love the the amenities out here. I do wish they were part of the HOA fees, but when you have a big golf course and all that other stuff, it costs money to operate these things. All right, a little sneak peek at the pool area. Very nice. Cool. All right. Now, let's get back on the bike and continue the tour.
GoPro stop recording. All right, we are continuing on. Let's head on out of the club area and just kind of showcase more of what the houses here look like. Helps if I have the camera facing uh, to where you guys can actually see. Beautiful day in Texas. I'm probably going to say that a lot because, uh, yeah, my job as a realtor does get stressful at times. But uh, sometimes you wake up and uh, this is what you're doing for the day. Shooting a beautiful video. Well, shooting, in my opinion, it's going to turn out pretty nice. But shooting a video in the beautiful Texas Hill Country. Not a bad gig. I'm definitely trying to build my business by providing you guys the most information. And I definitely think doing this gets you some good information about what's in this area. And if you haven't seen my motorcycle tour of downtown Bernie, make sure you check that out. And kind of another convenient thing about this is you can really be anywhere. Um, gro closest grocery store, probably looking at about a 15 minute drive to the closest HEB, which is our local grocery store. And uh, one of the one, off 46 near 281 that's a really nice HEB you can have all your fast food restaurants and there are some box stores right there but you also can have Ooh, there was my turn um, heading into Bernie which is probably about 10 minutes the other direction that was not my turn silly nav Alright, we've got that all squared away now. We've just left the clubhouse area. Back on the rain main roads and let's hope we can see some beautiful homes as we cruise down the roads. But for the uh, out-of-state client. I know he does like the uh, long-distance bicycle riding. He's one of those uh, one of those guys. I did talk to an owner that has a house like, oh, there's quite a few of those guys out here doing that. They, I guess they have their whole group too. I probably shouldn't be doing 38 in a 25. It's such a beautiful day and I love my motorcycle. Alright, there are houses. But they are definitely tucked away a little bit. So I'm sorry if this isn't a most thrilling video. But for the people who are looking for the information about this community and getting the actual visual of what it looks like, there is a value in it. Especially when trying to make those important life decisions of where do you want to spend the next chapter of your life. You kind of want to see it, even if it's mostly trees. <laughs> Got another home tucked back that away. Yeah, they the Owners of these properties definitely like to tuck their houses back a little bit further than uh, other communities. Oh, I've got some Halloween stuff going on there. Check that out. Little horse, headless horse. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh man, wish I got that video. Another beautiful home talk back that way if I can show it this direction yep
Like I said, when they keep that 50 foot minimum of natural brush up on the front of the communities, it does limit what I can showcase from the road. But I'm gonna do my best. Well, there's a beautiful house there. Hopefully saw a quick snippet of that. I've got like three people piled up behind me. Let's turn down this road. Get off the main drag. Alright, we are on Riverwood. Alright, let me just try to slow down so you can see that through the trees. this house at all. Yep. Oh, cool statue over there. There's more houses tucked away that direction. They definitely get the. They definitely kept the feel of the Texas Hill Country and the landscaping with all the natural trees and stuff up. So I can get a shot of this house. Pretty nice. It's okay. Nothing super, super fancy about that one. Alright, see we've got a little bit more new construction going on back here. Alright, now we're back heading back on to Riverwood. And uh, another neat thing about this community, this Guadalupe River runs uh, uh, if you're living in this community, you do have a private access to the Guadalupe River. It's another beautiful house right there. And I do want to, it is kind of just off of this Riverwood Road. That's kind of the reason why I'm on here, because I want to show, go down to that uh, park and show that. Should be coming up to a house I've done a video tour of that's on this road. Oh, there's a beautiful home. Ooh, I like that one right back over here. I like the colors on that house. Ooh, there's another nice one. That's beautiful. It's tucked away down there, so it's a little harder to see. There. 
Nice little Spanish style home there, that's beautiful. Just kind of trying to show off these homes. change on my GoPro they just don't last all that long okay let me do a quick turnaround for my Utah buyer you might recognize that fence line that's one of the lot tours I did for you so now I've got my bearings I know where I'm at let me kind of turn around because I want to show that river after I change out my GoPro battery all right we're back in front of that property that I did a video tour of for my client and I want to showcase to him who is the primary reason I'm doing this video secondary reasons for everybody else uh, just how close that the park area is to the river well to the property he's considering buying, I want to show him how close that walk is down to the river. We kind of run on the curve, and here is North Park Road. Another beautiful home getting built right there. Love the all the oak trees out here. A little additional parking for this park. down here Ooh, neat little ravine going down there little picnic area and there's the river my friends so not grind the gears too much uh, beautiful place um the guadalupe river state park is literally just five minutes down river from us so yeah if you put your kayak in or gone tubing tubing might be a little long float might get a little liquored up trying to get there to the guadalupe river state park but it's a perfect distance for if you want to go do a little kayaking being able to put in here for free and then pull out the guadalupe river state park it's kind of cool i do want to make that run sometime soon Of this little park and you're not gonna have only the people in this community have access to this Try to get up here without slipping and sliding too much there we go all right there is another part of this community that they have opened up called the springs 
it is on the other side of the road out of they got a back gate going into here so from here i'm gonna head over that direction i do like this side a little more it's my own personal opinion um, but they do have lots for sale over there at a little bit less expensive cost when i say that we're talking about probably around $200 for one acre because they appear to be those little smaller lots over on that side. Well, a lot, lot of the lots here are gonna be just over two acres. So let's head that direction. their bicycle with their doggy. Sorry, I'm messing with my rider modes here. Oh, I'm fine. I'll just keep with the rider mode I'm in right now. And this fence line here showcases we're right back to where that lot is that Oh no, that was a different lot there. But there's some beautiful homes here. video and I'll pick up as we're leaving this community and going into the next, well, the springs section of this community.